The Ferrari team is under no illusions that it needs to make gains with its power unit if it is going to return to the front of the Formula 1 grid. After yet another second place silver trophy in 2019, it's fourth in the seven years of F1 hybrid era. Ferrari's 2020 campaign was derailed by a combination of a car that was a bit too draggy and an engine that was less powerful than the 2019 version. That performance deficit was the result of a raft of technical directives issued by the FIA ahead of last season, aiming to stop teams using clever tricks to get around fuel flow measurement regulations, something which Ferrari were, allegedly, caught doing with the SF90 in 2019, with the prevailing theory to be using a controlled oil leak from the intercooler into the engine's combustion process to provide a performance boost. The extent of Ferrari's engine struggles came to light in 2020 pre-season testing, but any hopes of introducing major upgrades to the power unit during the campaign were thwarted by a development freeze introduced in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It meant that Ferrari had to live through the entire season with the same inadequate power unit, with changes only possible over the winter between the 2020 and 2021 seasons. The team's 2021 engine is now in the advanced design stages, and it's understood that it features some interesting developments that it hopes will deliver a useful power boost. Rather than going for anything revolutionary, Ferrari is understood to be looking at making incremental changes to all aspects of the thermal properties and electric powertrain, which it believes will add up to a sizable gain overall. It's also understood that Ferrari did evaluate a change of concept in going down the Mercedes route, thereby splitting the turbine and compressor to sit at either side of the internal combustion engine. While the evaluation of that idea is continuing under a project group led by Wolf Zimmermann, who has been commissioned to look at innovative longer-term solutions with the Austrian-based AVL, for now the two turbo components will remain where they have been previously. Instead, the key change that Ferrari's engine chief Enrico Gualtieri will introduce is the debut of a super-fast cylinder head, which had originally been anticipated for introduction in 2022. The new design will help achieve greater fuel atomization and a higher pressure in the combustion chamber as teams try to get closer to the 500 bar limits laid down by the regulations. As well as a newly designed piston crown which will continue to be made of steel, and new intake ducts on the camshaft, it's believed that Ferrari has looked into the use of new alloys, aiming to help ensure that the powertrain's reliability is not compromised by the boost in performance. Thanks to a new gearbox for 2021, the bodywork will be shrunk at the rear and the coke bottle area of the car will be larger. This also indicates that the reliability problems with the narrow exhaust also appear to have been resolved too, as they will now be able to be crammed into this smaller space. The new Ferrari engine will also not give up the wastegate valve, which can be removed this year for the first time. This is in order to exploit the aerodynamic effect of the blown exhaust as much as possible, using the expelled gases to provide additional downforce to the diffuser. Engine cooling systems have also been revised in a bid to change the radiator design used in 2020 that ended up producing too much drag in the side pods, further hampering the noticeably lackluster straight-line speed of the SF1000. The new Ferrari power unit is also believed to have a slightly smaller turbine than the one used in the previous unit in an attempt to improve electrical charging. The idea is to have a much more efficient energy recovery system so that the delivery of the MGUK's approximate 160 horsepower can last longer throughout the lap an important factor in trying to reduce the overall deficit to Mercedes and their superior powertrain. Overall, the expected engine updates seem promising, on paper at least, looking to provide extra power and reliability for now, while also keeping an eye on the future engine possibilities. But on the other hand, Ferrari's rivals might be making similar gains themselves over the winter break, which could leave Ferrari's net performance gains looking less impressive in comparison. But as always in Formula 1, the proof is in the pudding and hopefully we'll get a better idea at pre-season testing in Bahrain whether the latest machinery has what it takes to put Ferrari back on the podium in 2021.